Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to overload the shorthand operators such as plus equal to and minus equal to and also how to overload the operators using the friend functions. So when we use the shorthand operators such as uh, plus equal to or uh, minus equal to, for example, let's say x plus equal to 10, it means that x equal to x plus 10 and similarly if we have uh, x minus equal to 10 then it means that you know x equal to x minus 10 all right now in this tutorial we're gonna overload the plus equal to and minus equal to operators and we're gonna make them to work with the custom objects that we create all right let's get started so the first thing that we're gonna do is for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a class called marks so it's gonna be class marks and uh, as a private member let's have uh, int mark and then let's define a public access specifier and uh, let's have a constructor you know the same name as the class name so it's gonna be mark and here you know it's not gonna take any parameters and it's gonna initialize this mark to a value of zero and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this default constructor and paste it in the next line and we're gonna change that one to take a parameter and it's gonna be a integer parameter and let's say m and we're gonna store that in our marks All right now we have a class with a class member and two constructors all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a public method you know which is gonna print out the value stored in this member mark so let's call it as void your mark please and uh, it's not gonna take any parameters and it's gonna print out the value of this member mark so that's why it's gonna be c out and we're gonna say your mark is then the mark and let's end this line all right now we have a class called marks and we have a member and we have defined the constructors and and also we have defined a public meta so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the plus equal to and minus equal to shorthand operators and we're gonna make them to work with the objects of this class so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build plus equal to as a member of this class and we're gonna build minus equal to as a friend function so First, we're gonna build the plus equal to. All of us know how to define a operator function when it is a member of the class. So here, first we need to specify the return type. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have made our operator to return an object. In this case, our operator is not gonna return any values or this operator function is not gonna return any values. So it's gonna be void and then the keyword operator and then the operator which is plus equal to and then a pair of parentheses and between this parentheses we need to specify the parameters so here all of us know you know when we define the operator function as the member of a class you know the current object or the object which calls this operator function will be passed implicitly that's why you know if your operator function is taking only one parameter then you don't need to specify that but here our, our operator function is going to take the current object and also an integer value so here the current object will be passed automatically by the c plus plus and that's why we just going to specify the integer value here so it's going to be int and let's say bonus mark all right and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the body of this operator function so here we're going to store the value in this mark so that's why it's going to be mark equal to mark plus bonus mark all right so the current object will be passed implicitly and we are adding the bonus mark to that current objects mark member all right simple enough and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the minus equal to operator using the friend function we're gonna declare a friend operator function to do that we need to use the keyword friend and then the return type which is gonna be void and then we need to write the keyword operator and then the operator which is minus equal to 
and now you know this operator minus equal to or this operator function minus equal to is a friend function of this class it's not a member function when the operator function is a member function you know the current object will be passed implicitly when we use a friend function there will not be any this pointer and that's why the current object will not be passed implicitly so we need to specify that here and also we're gonna take that by reference here and it's gonna be marks and let's say and because you know we are receiving by reference and current object or car obj and then we're gonna write int and uh, it's gonna be reduced mark or red mark all right and the next thing that we need to do is we need to build the body of this operator friend function so i'm gonna copy this and outside the class definition i'm gonna paste that and we're gonna define the body so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna refer to the mark member of this current object and we're gonna decrease that by the value in this red mark so it's gonna be cur obj dot mark and i can use minus equal to and it's gonna be red mark all right now as a semicolon and that's it so now we have defined a class called marks and we have a member mark and also we have two constructors and a public method to display the value stored in this member mark and then we have overloaded the plus equal to and minus equal to shorthand operators we have overloaded the plus equal to operator as a class member or we have defined the operator function plus equal to as a class member and we have returned or defined the operator function for the operator minus equal to as a friend function and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class marks so in my main function it's gonna be the class name which is marks and let's say anil's mark and we can initialize that right here let's say anil's got a mark of 45 and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call the public method you know which is gonna display the anil's mark so it's gonna be anil's mark dot and your mark please all right next we're gonna use the overloaded plus equal to operator and uh, it's gonna be anil's mark plus equal to and let's say a value mm, 20 okay bonus 20 marks and then again i'm gonna call your mark please so it's gonna be anil's mark dot your mark please and as a semicolon and i'm gonna copy this and again we're gonna call and we're gonna use that for the minus equal to so i'm gonna paste that and i'm gonna change this one to minus equal to all right now i'm gonna save this program i'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see anil's got a mark of 45 and when we overloaded this plus equal to and passed a value of 20 you know the mark will be incremented and it becomes 65 because you know 45 plus 20 equals 65 and then we used the overloaded minus equal to operator and we reduced the mark by 20 and that's why again anil's mark is 45 and the next thing that i want you guys to show you is okay let's create a variable here and uh, let's say int x and let's initialize this x with a value of 20 so here we can replace this 20 by a value of x x and uh, if i save this build and run i get the same values all right now here you know we have called anil's mark plus equal to x but we can't call x plus equal to anil's mark just to demonstrate that here i'm gonna write x plus equal to and then anil's mark so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program and we get the error and if i open up the logs it says error no match for operator plus equal to in x plus equal to anil's mark that's because here you know we have defined the operator overloading function for the class to which this anil's mark object belongs so here you know this anil's mark object is going to call this operator overloaded function but here you know when we use x plus equal to anil's mark this x is an object of this class integers and in that integers class we haven't defined a operator function to work with an object of type anil's mark and that's why we get the error 
so this is it guys this is how you guys can overload the shorthand operators plus equal to and minus equal to and also you guys can overload the operators using the friend functions so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial